All right, good afternoon. Uh, thanks for joining us for AERP Quick Hits. Uh, today we're going to talk Medicaid expansion. Right now, Governor Christie has on his desk a, a, a proposal to expand Medicaid in New Jersey, and this is a pretty big deal in our state. Uh, my name is Jeff Abramo. I'm Communications Director at AERP, and I'm joined by uh, AERP New Jersey, and I'm joined by Doug Johnston, our Governmental Affairs Director. Doug, thanks for joining us today. Hey, great to talk to AERP members directly. Absolutely. Talk to me about Medicaid expansion. You know, what is it? What's the big deal? Well, Medicaid expansion is a very critical issue. It's really our number one issue. It's something that is uh, an option for the state of New Jersey to consider. Uh, Governor Christie has to make a decision sometime this year as to whether or not the state of New Jersey is going to expand the coverage of Medicaid for very low-income people so that they have access to basic health care. And that's not only good for them, it's good for the state of New Jersey. It will help New Jersey hospitals that are struggling every day to pay their bills and deal with the thousands and thousands of uninsured New Jerseyans that visit the hospital emergency rooms every day. Those are expensive visits. They cost the hospitals and in turn they cost New Jersey taxpayers. And there's a solution to that problem. And the solution is to expand the Medicaid program and ARP's advocacy is calling on Governor Christie to do that, to accept the Medicaid expansion, which is almost exclusively funded by federal dollars. So it's good for New Jersey, uh, the people that would get the access to coverage. It's good for New Jersey hospitals who need uh, that financial assistance. And it's good for the economy, as a matter of fact. Okay. Now, there's a lot of people that you met that will indirectly benefit from this, but there are some real numbers behind the people who will actually benefit from it, who will be expanded coverage as a result of it. Can you, do you have any idea about those numbers? Sure, that's exactly right. Approximately 340,000 people uh, right now in New Jersey are not eligible for Medicaid. Uh, they're very low income. Many, many, many of them are working people. They are the, the, the waiters in the, and waitresses in the rest restaurants you go to. Uh, they're the laborers uh, that are, you know, doing hard, hard low-paid labor. Uh, they are people doing landscaping in your, in your neighborhood. Uh, they are a lot of folks who work hard every day and they pay their Social Security taxes, they pay their Medicaid taxes, they pay their Medicare taxes, uh, they're paying property taxes and sales taxes, but they don't make very much money. They're really struggling to get by. There's over 300,000 of those people who currently do not qualify for Medicaid coverage, even though they need it, and it's the right thing to do. Uh, so they, that's the direct group of uh, individuals who will be helped uh, if Governor Christie decides to uh, accept the federal dollars to do the Medicaid expansion, which ARP supports. And you touched upon it before, there are a lot of groups that will indirectly benefit from it as well. Yeah, I mean, New Jerseyans, you know, we love our hospitals. Uh, we want to know that our nearby hospital, our neighborhood hospital, is going to be there for us when we have that emergency. When we have a heart attack or when we have a car accident or, or you're having a baby, uh, we need to know that we can go to our New Jersey uh, hospital and it's going to be there for us and there's not going to be a mile long line of people in front of you in the emergency room. But that is a constant struggle and our hospitals are financially struggling in New Jersey. and. Part of the reason for that is, is that they have to care for many, many people who don't have health insurance and they don't have uh, Medicaid or they don't have Medicare uh, coverage. And so what happens is those folks who don't have this coverage of basic health care services that many of us take for granted, just being able to go to the doctor if you should think you got, you're sick or you just want to have an annual checkup or something, they can't do it. Uh, so New Jersey hospitals end up taking care of those folks when either health problems get so bad they end up in the emergency room or they go to the emergency room because they just don't have anywhere else that they think they can go. So expanding Medicaid coverage will enable over 300,000 New Jerseyans uh, to get the basic health care services that many of us take for granted, annual visits, uh, screenings for, different, uh, for diabetes and cancer and whatnot that can help prevent healthcare problems from getting really bad and ending up having you in the emergency room. Okay. Now a lot of people, I think, I think that they think about Medicaid expansion and they say, oh, this is another program that's going to cost New Jersey taxpayers more money. Explain a little bit about how this program is being funded for the next couple of years. Sure. So uh, the Medicaid, Medicaid right now is 50% funded by 
federal, you know, U.S. government dollars, and 50% by the state. But as a result of changes in federal law that President Obama signed into law, uh, for the first three years starting in 2014, states will have the option to get 90% of their Medicaid coverage uh, paid for by federal dollars for that expanded group of people. So we're talking about billions of dollars coming into New Jersey to help provide this coverage, uh, to, to help a lot of people that will help New Jersey hospitals, that will build our economy. It will help a lot of small business uh, owners who employ low-income folks but they can't afford to pay for health care coverage. It's going to help those landscaping businesses. It's going to help the restaurants who can't afford to buy health insurance for their uh, waiters and waitresses and so forth. Um, so there's a lot of people going to be helped, and in the first three years, the federal government pays 90% of the, or pays 100% of the cost, rather, and then after that, uh, the state just has to pick up 10% of the tab. And we believe at AARP that the economic benefits and the cuts that, uh, the, or the, the financing is going to help hospitals so much, and it's going to improve quality of care by preventing diseases and, and health care problems from getting so bad that they folks end up in the nursing in, in uh, emergency rooms that in the long run is going to save the state money but after the first three years uh, the state will have to pick up 10 percent of the tab for this uh, increased uh, ex for the expansion of Medicaid but we believe the state's in the long run going to save money because right now the state pays for what is called charity care and this gets back to the hospital issue uh, right now on an annual basis uh, the hospitals come to the state and they say well we had to provide uh, health, emergency health care coverage for X number of you know tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of uninsured people that came to our emergency rooms. And we, they didn't turn them away, they took care of them. Uh, and the state gives them a sum of dollars each year to pay for it, but the state, quite honestly, doesn't pay them enough. It doesn't pay them the real cost of the care. But that's called charity care, and it's a burden on state taxpayers, uh, and of course the hospitals feel like uh, they're not getting paid enough. Uh, and so Medicaid expansion will help gradually cut those charity care costs, because instead of people showing up in the emergency room and the hospital basically having to eat the costs until they can go back to the state and ask for uh, the state to, to pay for it, um, Medicaid will pay directly, just like if you and I go to the hospital or go to a doctor with our insurance and we get coverage. It's a much more efficient way to do business for the state and for the hospitals, and of course it provides much better quality of care for uh, the patients, of course. Okay. Sounds like a winning deal for New Jersey. Uh, for people that are watching this right now and they want to show their support, what can they do right now? Right, well, the, the, the best thing you can do is to call Governor Chris Christie. And uh, we're optimistic that Governor Christie is going to do this, that he's going to expand Medicaid, and we think he's going to announce this very soon in the coming weeks, but before the end of February. Uh, his state budget address is coming up, and the next state budget will include half of 2014, because it's a fiscal year. So if the governor's going to do the Medicaid expansion and accept those federal dollars, then he has to account for that in his next state budget, which he'll uh, announce near the end of February. So we are asking ARP members and everyone uh, to support your hospitals, support the economy, and support uh, access to affordable health care coverage by calling Governor Christie at 609-292-6000 and ask him to support the Medicaid expansion and include it in his next state budget. That's 609-292-6000. Please call him. He will listen and they will take notes and uh, it's very important and will be good for the economy. Doug Johnston, Government Affairs Director, AARP New Jersey, thanks for joining me today. Okay, thank thanks you. Thanks for watching. Let's do it again.